Well, I suppose it's time to kick off with the events of several years later. Just several years, you know. I guess we're giving, you know, XX years. I became a Soul Reaper along with my brother, Fujimaru. I wanted to keep the oath I made that fateful day. An oath, huh? Well, now, that's serious business right there. I mean, if they got an oath, you know, it's super serial. Huh. And yeah, now she's got a hair ornament. Which looks really complicated, though. I might just be overestimating it, but seriously, what the way that pan goes across her head? <sighs> we did it. We really did it. We're soul reapers. We haven't unlocked the powers of our swords yet, so we're rookies. Which makes us kind of useless. Ah, the, the walking corpse is in. Yeah, Kyan doesn't make it. I, I think at this point, just about everyone who'd watch this would probably know that. The, the man in front of us dies. You know, before the events of the main series happen. Yeah, you need to pay more attention. Don't want to get snuck up on by Kyan. Because he's dead. You know, it's a zombie we're looking at. <laughs> Kyan Shiba, nice to meet you. Shiba, hey, I've heard of you. Kai and Shiva? Don't you know who he is? He's legendary at the Soul Reaper General Academy. Never mind that. This is your very first day at work. Let me be the first to welcome you to Squad 5. Yeah, it's nice to meet a living legend, sir. Well, I think it's so nice after I put you through your paces today. I hope you're ready. Now get to the squad station for your official welcome. Make sure you speak up loud and clear when spoken to and stand at attention. Yes, sir! <laughs> ah, Kyan. You're too good for this game. But yes, we're part of Squad 5, which means our dad is now our captain. That must be weird when you go to work, right? You have to start calling your dad Captain or Sir. Line up, please. It's time for the roll call. Like you're in school or something. As y'all know, today we welcome two new members of Squad 5. Stand forward, you two. Yes, sir. Yep, we've joined the squad. Hmm. Now what to do? Good laugh. Ugh. Showing all over that tongue of yours trying to get your self-introduction out. Darn, I may have fooled myself on the very first day. Hey, don't worry about it. You may have already laughed, didn't you? Except the captain. Dude's dead serious. We're laughing at Meanway. They all sound pretty friendly. I guess so, but I'm still really embarrassed. Congratulations and welcome to Squad 5. I'm your future evil villain, so, you know, be prepared to shank me when the time comes. Yeah, this is back in the time when Aizen was a lieutenant. Not even a junior grade lieutenant, though. I don't know. I mean, don't want to be too informal, or people might get some ideas. Like we're on your side or something. Uh, mediator, huh? Still a bit too formal there, right? You would, huh? Yeah. Don't do that while we're at work. Yeah, Captain Suzunami. <laughs> That's all for now. She will show you the ropes. Didn't we learn the ropes while we were at, um, school? Or, or do you mean we gotta practice the exercise ropes, you know, for being part of Squad 5? Hmm. Nighttime already, huh? Alright, let's eat, everyone. Everything? I don't know. I'm not a big fan of fish. I don't know if I could eat a fish that's still at its face, you know? It's just like staring at you, like, su like making you super guilty. 
but you joined the squad today. That's even more cause for celebration than graduation. Yeah. I don't know why that's such a big deal. I assume if you graduate, they're going to put you on a squad somewhere. I mean, Soul Reapers probably bite the dust all the time, so you got to have some replacements come in. Lady Konaka gave us the hair ornaments. They were a little um, congratulation present for me. Yes, yeah, he told you. My question is, where did she get them? Did she, did she make them, or did she buy them? <laughs> we wanted to tell you about the ornaments of the squad station, but... Didn't really seem like the right time. You gotta love that face, Sujimaru. Go for it, man. Yeah, better treat them all equally, or they might get, you know, the wrong idea about us. Yes, Captain. You don't have to comment that now. Even I like to relax when I'm at home. You're the one who set yourself up for that one, Saigon. Right, kids? Damn straight. He definitely set himself up for that. Ah, now we get free time. Ah, uh, this is going to give a lot of time, man. Well, now. Man of Legend. I want to pick up the item. I'm not sure what it is, but we should definitely grab it. Kyan! You looking for me? You and no other. We want to ask you a few questions. About what? We're curious about the amazing stories about your days at the Soul Reaper General Academy. What amazing stories? I was only at the Academy for two years. Graduation just two years is pretty amazing, isn't it? it usually takes six years to graduate. Damn, you managed to do one year of three years of study and a one year apiece there? Couldn't help it. I finished all the coursework, so they had to let me go. You had enough spiritual power to be a lieutenant's A when you entered the academy. Spiritual power isn't everything. Pass the entrance exam on your first try. You know you're from the Rukon district. Did I? Is that all you can say? None of that stuff is normal, you know. Whatever, I was just focused on what I wanted to do after I left the academy. What was life like for you when you were there? Don't remember much. Lots of tests and training. Before I knew it, I had graduated. I thought you just whipped right through. And I didn't really have any rivals to speak of. Well, considering you did everything in two years and a six-year course, yeah, I imagine you didn't have very many rivals. Not many could keep up with that pace. It was, huh? There's no shortage of amazing people among the captains and lieutenants here. If I have people of such high rank be a point of comparison, it shows how special you are. You are a legend, after all, Kyan. If I end up being a legend, it'll be for something I haven't done yet. Oh, you're sure, huh? You don't even know what he's going to be doing yet. It's dying. And that a legend does not make. <laughs> <laughs> no, no we won't, because we won't even be around that time. Though I suppose if we were there, maybe he would have lived. Okay, I need... Th I need three here. Let's see. Well, we'll take this one. Yeah, the free days are the worst, because this eats up just a lot of time. A minute? I don't know if we got 60 seconds, Captain. What is it, sir? There's something you should keep in mind. Yes, sir? I graduated from the Soul Reaper General Academy, and you worked hard to become Soul Reapers. Don't let yourself become complacent. This is just the beginning of the challenges you'll face as official Soul Reapers. Yes, sir. First off, let me talk a bit about Squad 5. You know, the 13 Court Guard squads. 
The Squad 5 values its reputation for swift action. Got that right. You gotta be fast foot to be in this squad, or we'll kick you out. I suppose so. My personality is reflected in the character of my squad. Come what may, a squad five takes quick initiative and does its best to outshine the other squads. We take great pride in that. Consequently, we have no tolerance for slackers. Especially slifer slackers. Yep. Apparently, you know, he was a uh, obelisk blue when he was in school. It's not me insist on impeccable skills. What matters is the determination to improve oneself in thought and action. Thought and action? Pride yourself on these things. As long as you're a member of Squad 5, bear them in mind. I gotta put a bear in my head? Eh, that sounds painful. Squad 5 manual, eh? Yeah, we can equip that later, I think. Oh, three ointments. Yay. Ah. Well, I don't want to go three, then I need to go one. I want that item because it's going to be a stat boost. And stat boosts are the best kind of boost. I wonder if Lady Kunaka is in. I hear voices inside. Yes, delightful. Yeah, who realized Konaku was friends, you know, with, um, the leader of the healing squad? What was it, Unahana? Of course, of course, she has a dark past to speak of, you know, because she used to be, you know, Kenpachi. She will, huh? Such high recommendation, I may just steal them out from under you. Yeah, you, you don't want to do that. Konaku might look nice, but... She will shank you. <laughs> Early? Is that so? And who's our guest? Oh. She's a dear friend of mine, the captain of Squad 4. Oh, I beg your pardon, Captain Unahana. Would this be... Yes. Yep, very recent graduate. Well, there isn't, huh? You just like to casually drink tea here? You think we would have met you before if she was like a regular guest slash dear friend of um, Konaka's? But I wouldn't want to impose on your valuable free time. A few moments. But... Yeah, you, you better sit down. You don't want to know what Unahana might do to you. She's completely insane. Quite the surprise, huh? Maybe that's for the best. Oh, sophisticated? Nah, she just likes stabbing people. <laughs> I should be so lucky. Oh, we'll, we'll be plenty lucky when it comes to stabbing things later. It's just not time yet to be stabbing things. And I'm disappointed, you know? Because I want to stab things. <sighs> of course, in later free times, we're going to have to choose between people, and we can only visit, you know, so many, so we can't get everyone in. He probably knows. Seriously. How could you forget that? I know it was a few years ago for you, but for the audience, that was like, what, 20 minutes ago at most? <sighs> Fujimaru, man, he'd probably forget his head if it wasn't screwed on. Yeah, you most certainly did. Really? Hmm. You ought to pay more attention. It doesn't matter anyway. The important thing is that you two made it into the squads. So what made you decide to become Soul Reapers anyway? Yeah, we did for Lady Konaka. Because her food is divine. I don't know, I think that'd get kind of annoying if, you know, the twins kept answering everything in unison. Sort of like the Weasley twins. Thanks for what? Because you gave us the idea of becoming Soul Reapers. And that led us to living with Lady Kunaka's family. 
I guess that's one way to look at it. I'm just talking to myself, uh, don't mind me. Come visit me anytime, it'll be a good excuse to skip out on work. <laughs> hey, you better not start slacking. We're squat five here. You better be. Ooh, cat lady's here. You could have come out, you know. It's better for Rui's not to know the face of the chief of the punishment force. So they're the ones? Yep, Suzunami's kids. Girls are serious and straightforward. The boy was, well, a little less so. From the looks of him, I'd say he's got a fire in his belly. Good thing they're in Squad 5. Yeah, for a lot of reasons. Keep an eye on them when you have time. Why is it good we're in Squad 5? Squad 5 is cursed with, you know, a lieutenant that's evil. It's the worst squad to be in. Ooh, a 7% HP buff. Before we even get a chance you know, to find what our HP is. What's Aizen want? Ugh, a visitor? What kind of visitor? Seriously. Thank you. Thought I'd make the introductions. This is Captain Jashiro. Ah. Uh, the guy who can't. S oh, wait, no, that's a sick guy. Sorry, I was thinking of someone else. Uh, how do you do, sir? Squad 5 recruit. Susan and I told me all about the two of you. Oh? Twins are quite close, I hear. The captain say so? Yeah, yeah, he did. And that's really say something coming from one who holds his sister in such high esteem. Seriously, I think he wants to sleep with her. Well, I suppose that's true. Love to see the two of you together. I imagine you're a lot alike. Actually, our personalities are quite different. Is that right? Is that really meant to be a question? Yeah, how rare are Twin Soul Reapers? Please stop by our squad station when you have time. Yeah, I guess we can think about that. Um, yes, very, very kind of you to offer, sir. So you waited for me to bring tea and are now leaving. And you're talking with us for like, what, um, a couple minutes? Okay, what, what work am I getting back to? Am I doing paperwork? Because that's the worst kind of work to have to do, man. We'll have to pay him a visit one day. Yes, one day far off in the future. Oh. Jeez. Come on. Is that all you've got? Yeah, yeah it is, because I don't have any more people to talk to. Line up, people. It's time for roll call. Hmm. We've got a sudden special assignment today. Great Captain Ukatake of Squad 13 isn't feeling well today and is unable to patrol. Our squad has been asked to take over some of Squad 13's patrol areas in the Rukon District. At least I got a few of you from Squad 5 on the detail as well. Oh, volunteering, are you? Man, what a suck up, Kyan. <laughs> when did we do that? Isn't that right? Uh, yes, sir. I don't know if you're quite ready to go yet. Then why don't I go with them, Captain? Oh, would you? I'd appreciate that, Aizen. Make sure they don't get into any serious trouble. No problem, sir. Alright then, Aizen, Shiba, and Fujimaru, and Etna Kudo, the four of you head out immediately. Why does the game have to keep mentioning my last name? It's made me feel like I should make my last name like Spaces or something. North Rukon District Division 64. This is where we'll be patrolling. Rukon District surrounds the Syriate and is separated into north, south, east, and west. And divisions numbered 1 through 80. Higher numbers, the further divisions are from the 
central sector and rougher and more dangerous they are, right? Oh, you already knew that, eh? Yes, we grew up in the Rukon district. That doesn't mean you can let your guard down. Hollows might show up at any time. There's lots of Trollmaker residents, too. Yeah, like a like a certain future captain. <laughs> this is a pretty tough job for your first assignment. If she are here, we shouldn't have any trouble dealing with Hollows. Oh, come on. We can fight Hollows. Ooh. Hollows? Where are they? How many? How strong are they? You gotta hold yourself. They're still far away. Okay, Edna Fujimara, let's move. But will we get there in time? Oh, yeah. Well, now. Yeah, I, I can tell that. Thank you for pointing out the obvious. Captain Sir Obvious a lot. Hmm, low intelligence, eh? Just remember your training and you'll be fine. Yes, sir. Yeah, go get him. We'll help you out if you get into trouble. Yep, let's go. We'll save that for next time, though. But we can use adjacent attacks. Yeah, I, I got it. I don't care if these guys get different ones or not. Oh, they do. Darn. I guess this is also slightly different on the frog head as well. I'm going to have more images to copy over. It's going to suck. Eh, whatever. I might just be lazy on the frog heads. The difference isn't that obvious. Is it? No, oh, whatever. Next time we'll come back here and actually deal with fighting. Until then, see ya.